I guess the aim of the event is to educate people around these issues that they don't necessarily know about, and particularly young people. Um, how are you planning to to do that on Saturday? Do you have like have you planned any sort of workshop or? No workshop, but I'm going to give a history, a nutritional history of the United Kingdom. Okay. And the thing that has jumped off the page of me when I read you know, historical aspects of food poverty is that uh, Britain has a very strange attitude towards food. Mm -hmm. I agree to that. I agree with that. Indeed, very much so. Indeed. <laughs> Italians would to say we have an extremely strange attitude to food. And food is an essential for life. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's also seen as a consumer issue and what this means is that people who don't have enough money to buy food, their budget is really tight, they will go short. So it's not seen as an essential in the political and social domain. The number of people attending food, food banks in the UK is very high, it's more than a million. Um, do you think that food poverty should be a priority for policy in the next years? Absolutely because the innocent uh, victims are children who are growing, growing up, who have very particular nutrition requirements. And if they're not met, then it has an impact on their physical development, it holds them back. And secondly, with micronutrients, like vitamins, minerals, um, it has an impact on their cognitive development, on their mental development. And what I want to um, present is going to be the question, what can we actually eat? So, okay. what is not only a question, what is healthy, but is there maybe more questions, a broader question, when we, when, when we want to ask ourselves, what can I eat, what is a good thing to eat? It's, you can think about just yourself, and mm -hmm. maybe if you have lots of money, you can invest lots of things in superfoods and eat the best of everything. But... Um, what you then forget is maybe that you can eat like this, but your future generations, even your children, might not even be able to eat like this. Mm -hmm. And if you think about a more global sense, already we have big inequalities in what people are able to eat. You have undernutrition, but you also have certain foods that just get so expensive because we are consuming them in terms of superfoods. Mm. That we just kind of, yeah, if we think about it in a more global sense, it might not be the best choice, even if it is. Yeah, so healthy. basically the water walk is a series of uh, three activities. Uh, the first one is the part of the walk, so we would actually be doing something while walking and getting a bit of sensibility of where, where people would like to be able to walk to, what type of uses and services would they like, would they like to have in basically their doorstep or close to them, so that's the best. best Part of the first activity is more aware. Yeah, well, they're aware they're going to ask them how much water do you use, and they will have to use the cornwall blocks and try to construct how much water they use. We're going to use the case of London because that's where we are. But I think at least well, we're going to show them the uh, average of water use here, and then also compare it with other places, and then as well show them how much water they use in which activities. We all have the power of decision making. And Loteria is actually, um, it's, it's an actual Mexican game that the Spanish brought over in colonial times. And what it is, is it's a deck of cards, a people of cards, and on the cards, each card has an image, and on the back of it, it has some information about the image. Historically, it describes it, like, you know, it's the sun, and the description for the sun, it says, you know, the blanket of the floor. So they're slightly political, but then in terms of what I'm doing with this game, or you know, look at the art culture, what it's doing, it's taking different kinds of objects, uh, food products, companies, um, organizations that in a way are looking at things that around sustainability, but also in terms of responsibility and economics as well. So, so I, I guess, can you talk a bit more about the, what you're going to do at the East End session? Yeah, um, so one of the projects we've been running this year is called Hackney Herbal um, and it's all about um, trying to engage people over herbs and the different uses of herbs um, as another kind of, another way to try and engage people if they haven't, you know, food growing is not for them, maybe something like herbs which is quite simple um, they might be interested in. Um, and it's sort of also about, the, a, a bit of background to the project was trying to look at the diversity in Hackney as itself and try and collect um, 
kind of histories and stories and little anecdotes about people from different countries about the herbs because we'd been running a lot of workshops with plants and you'd always have someone who say oh in my country we use that herb for this and oh, I don't mm -hmm. remember the name but it's like this one and so we kind of thought oh there's, there's all this knowledge and all this history that we want to try and collect and celebrate um, and kind of showcase really so one of that was to try and do more workshops around the different uses um, of herbs so we've been growing lots of different herbs at different places um, and creating um, I guess it's also trying to focus on seasonal locally grown food so we've created a locally different locally grown herbal tea blends okay. um, and then they're being sold at a few different cafes to kind of fundraise for some of the well-being workshops that we do which is also easy um, so we're, give, we're going to be doing we'll do a big harvest before and have some um, different tea tasting sessions okay. so people can try it out because part of it is also um, working out which things taste nice and which things yeah. work together so and it's nice to um, involve different people in that so it's not just us deciding what the blends are it's actually the